everybody. Today is controversial commentary, but not the type of controversial commentary that I typically post. This is just going to outline some of the logical fallacies that I think would be very beneficial in further discussions on controversial topics. Um, so you know a logical fallacy is a literary device that is used to distract an individual from the topic at hand. Um, people typically don't use them without realizing it or people use them with the purpose of distraction so people who use them typically know what they're doing I have 10 I think 11 I have 11 examples I'm gonna be posting relatively soon in the sidebar a link to uh, I don't remember what it's called let me see if I can get the name of it Like the Nezering project or something to that nature, uh, the Nizcore project. Um, it okay. I will be putting that on the site as well, where you can look up all the different types of fallacies because there are a lot. So let's get started. I'm gonna make this a short video. All right. Our first logical fallacy is called appeal to force. This is the use of a threat or the use of force given as a justification for a conclusion. It's what we consider a power play. An example, I suppose, would be you're in an argument with your professor over a grade and you say something like, Professor, I don't understand why I did so poorly. Maybe we could discuss other options after I visit my dad, the dean. Things like that. It's usually, though not always, implied. So you look forward to that. It's, it's commonly used. Um, and this one, the next fallacy is called ad hominem, which is basically mudslinging. It's replying to an argument or an assertion by attempting to discredit the person, um, paralleling to discredit their argument or assertion. Uh, shortcomings in a person, you must remember, are not equivalent to shortcomings in the argument or their ideas. So. It, you see this a lot in politics when, let's see, let's, let's look at this for example. You remember when um, Vice President Cheney shot that man while he was hunting? Well, it would be like Cheney going up and talking about, I don't know, foreign policy and his debate opponent bringing up the fact that he shot someone and that shows that, well, his lack of responsibility and uh, his lack of compassion. Therefore, his policies have a lack of responsibility and a lack of compassion, which is not the case. The third logical fallacy is called um, the argument for four or two ignorance. It assumes that since one has not been proven um, false or true, that therefore the other is not proven false or true. So it's like God exists. Prove God exists. Prove he doesn't exist. It's that type of an argument. Uh, you see that used a lot, actually, in the God debate. The fourth logic fallacy is a uh, post hoc. Um, its full terminology is post hoc ergo propter hoc, which means after this, therefore because of this. Um, it implies that the first event causes a second event to occur, which is obviously not always the case. Like, let's see. Um, you, you guys know that like when people talk about something like masturbation it's like um, because you masturbate you know you you lose your genitalia or something ridiculous like that people use things like that um, this will lead to that when it's not always the case like because President Obama admits to having used drugs in the past he is inadequate to lead the country now. It's just like one event is going to lead to the shortcoming of a second, which is not obviously the case. Um, number five, no offense to President Obama, of course, uh, bandwagoning. Um, argumentum ad populum, basically, I'm going to get to that too, it's actually a completely separate one, but it's basically something is good because it is desired by the majority. Cause so, like, uh, I don't know, say the majority of the population loves to smoke, therefore smoking is good. It's that type of an argument. Um, then you have the false analogy that A and B are shown to be similar, but it doesn't mean that if A has a property, 
B will also have that property. So, for example, um, let's see. I can't really think of one at the moment. If you guys think of an example of obviously the fallacies, you might want to comment them. It'll help people understand them. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, President Obama? There's a, a connection between... Say there's a connection between a politician and someone who uh, in his family generations back is, you know, was a horrible dictator or something like that. So because they're similar, they have a similar lineage doesn't mean that they have the similar properties. So just because the dictator or family member was a dictator doesn't mean the new politician is a dictator. Their ideals are different. So you have to watch out for that one because that one's used actually often. I just can't think of examples. Uh, number seven is argumentum ad populum. And it means that uh, if many believe it is so, then it is so. So like if many people believe God exists, then God does exist. It's also a very common misconception just because we recognize the argument doesn't make it valid um hmm. oh and i have 12 for you haha <laughs> eight uh sediment sedimentality it's relying entirely on manipulatory heartwarming or heart-wrenching appeals to um gain support so like a, con a recent one is a Jack in the the guy who does the Jack in the Box thing was run over, so they're using that to get people to come and purchase more meals. You can see that one in the news. Uh, you have the slippery slope, which is the assertion that some events must inevitably follow others, without any arguments for inevitability or the event in question. It's um, also known as the snowball effect. So. Um, when you start with something, it's going to lead to something else. A lot of people actually use slippery slope to describe uh, drug use, with marijuana being the gateway drug, which isn't always the case. Because just because a lot of people who, well, I don't actually don't even know this, just because people who start smoking marijuana at the beginning lead to harsher drugs doesn't mean that it's always the case. Uh, we have the straw man fallacy, which is an argument in which or an argument that is different from and usually weaker than the opponent's best argument is attack. So say that you have arguments A, B, and C. A is your uh, weakest, B your middle middle strength one, and a C being your most concrete argument, which is how most debate debaters uh, line up their presentation. So instead, in your opponent, instead of attacking A, I mean, sorry, instead of attacking C, your strongest argument, they deter attention to uh, A, the weakest one, and rip that apart it to form or seemingly discredit your argument altogether, which obviously is logical. Um, you have uh, the hasty generalization. This conclusion is based on the example, on examples that are not large enough. We actually see this with statistics a lot and in a presentation of new drugs. You take a sample size and it's assuming that that sample size is representative of the population, which is not the case because the sample is n nowhere near close to the parameter. You guys are like, you're throwing jargon at me. Uh, sorry, I'm in statistics. This basically means that um, whatever you're using to represent your argument should be, if it's involving a, a, some type of larger group, should be representative of the entire group. You can't assume that one small little tiny group is going to hold everything, especially when you collect data because it's convenient because it's your neighbor. And the last one's uh, red herring, which is um, basically you distract people uh, from what you're talking about. Like uh, event A is what you're talking about, but then you start talking about event B, making it sound like they're related. And then you go off talking about event B, completely dropping event A. It's actually probably the most common. I do it a lot of the time. You'll find it. So anyway, this is almost 10 minutes long, so I got to go. But um, I hope that helped you guys out. I'll post the link, and I'll catch you later. Ciao.